What's up, you Back here again for another Meta Monday. We're going to take a look at the last week in God's Unchained action. So, this week we had everybody and their family played Healing Light. Uh, pretty much everybody in the top 10, for the most part, copy and pasted each other's decks. Uh, except for, like, Crumpy Lumpkins played an innovative death deck. Uh, this, uh, I can't pronounce his name. Question marks. Played uh, a Hidden Rush Deception deck. Very nice. That's what I played as well. Came in 15th. Um, I think everybody else pretty much played Healing Light. Yeah. Uh, and the reason being is there are many OP cards here. This one in particular is completely broken. This guy is a three mana, two, three at, at worst with ward, but uh, the synergies in this deck are gonna make this card at least have a minimum of probably four, five, six health and then your opponent's always going to have at least one or two creatures on, on the board when they end their turn. So it's going to be maybe a 4-6 for three mana, and it's got ward. And you're playing heal, so as it gets chipped away at, you just keep healing it. Uh, you play things like Odysseus tried Victor, and he uh, can go ahead and spawn four creatures right here. So you have four creatures on the board, and then you drop a Bartley's. That's plus four health for this guy. Uh, Isadora spawns extra creatures to help this guy get bigger and buffer. Some of these guys are just very difficult to kill, like a veteran hoplite is a 2-6. Uh, the Olympian guard. This guy now is buffed. At the start of your opponent's turn now, he gains plus one, plus one which means this guy is at worst a frontline two mana with for and he's a two three that's really powerful and he's an olympian and then if you don't kill it immediately it then gets another plus one plus one so turn one dropping one of these is very uh something i saw very frequently this week this guy se seems uh way too good uh bartley's is just absolutely broken just beyond broken um, I don't own a Bartley's. Otherwise, I would have copy and pasted the top 10 decks too because this guy is just busted. Uh, you know, we all know that Highborn Knights are just ridiculous. Master of Indulgences are ridiculous. Canonized is ridiculous. Some people played Demogorgon. Some played Ashen Drakes. Um, yeah, pretty much everything else. Is standard your golden harps with the high thermaturge. Um, if you get out Odysseus a turn after playing a golden harp, you get four creatures that are all healing. You have your high thermaturge out there. You get to draw four cards. There's a lot of synergies in this light deck, and uh, as you can see, it's uh, well, it came in pretty much every spot in the top ten. Uh, yeah, so hopefully they kind of tweak that a little bit. Um, and so I don't own Bartley, so I can't play that exact deck, but I will go ahead and play a modified version, and we'll take a little look, see what happens there. While we're waiting for that to load up, uh, we finished the Halloween stream finals of the Welcome Set tournament with an epic finale of Mirage 88 versus Caution Fun. Mirage 88 didn't drop a single game in any of his matches. Not a single game in any match. Mirage 88 came in as the number one seed and he proved why he was the number one seed. Um, we had an epic uh, final four match between Caution Fun and Freedan, which went to game three. Caution Fun ended up taking it down. Uh, so congrats to first, second, and third being Mirage 88, Caution Fun, and Free Dan. All right, so this is my first foray into heal. 
So as I was just saying, this card is very nice for a turn one card. If you can't kill it instantly, which Deception does have ways to kill it, like mugging. Um, sleep Dart. Maybe, uh, maybe Sleep Dart doesn't kill it in one turn. I don't play Sleep Dart. Uh, maybe we keep the Golden Harp. This is also nice turn one. Play it, heal it. Debating about the Golden Harp. I'm going first, so I'll play this guy. Then we have this. Yeah. Yeah. With justice is my shield. I cannot lose. Watch your back. Let's go ahead and give this guy a whirl. I kind of prefer veteran hoplite plus heal. It was something I pointed out in my Trial of the Gods best cards video before the season even dropped that that would be a huge turn one. But they just recently buffed this, and uh, this guy seems to be broken. A two cost two three with frontline that if you don't kill instantly also gets plus one plus one the following turn. <sighs> wow. I think it should probably be if this creature has two strength. Don't don't keep buffing it. That's ridiculous. Because it looks like he's not going to be able to kill it turn one, which means it's going to turn into a 3-4, which means he won't even be able to kill it with this the next turn. Oh, double veteran hoplite turn? Or we can just heal one. Um, I'm tempted to play both as the next turn I get the golden harp out. So let's do that. I think he's going to have his hands full with this thing. He's going to have to hit it here and then maybe cheat it. Or mug it or something. Maybe uh, if he hits it with a hunting trap, it doesn't die. But yeah, we had a good time on the uh, final on Halloween. We had 150 people almost show up. Oh, he stole my 2-2. Two, two. Ouch. He's got flank here. He could take out the other 2-2, two, two, which would be interesting. Okay. So this guy will start healing. We get this out. Honor guides me. I could go ahead and smack this guy around a little bit, but... Well, maybe I will. Otherwise, if I play... We're going to have a 1-2. And he's not going to want to trade this, so he'll ping this. Maybe trade here. Either way, he could do it, so I'll just go face. Yeah, we had like uh, 90 people watching concurrently. It was a huge event. It was awesome that the whole GU community showed up for it. Um, super grateful to the sponsors. Hoping to do something else again. Another big community-driven event in December. So if uh, you're out there looking to sponsor something, hit me up. We'd love to do something that big again. Geom, veteran hoplite. This guy right here, veteran hoplite. Big carnival, big top, strong hands, Aries. Uh, immutable sponsored it for half of an ETH, which was super nice. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like he's going to trade here. And banano sponsor it for 120,000 uh, banano coin. Can't even do anything else. Well, it's no fun. It doesn't even matter if I heal this. It's going to heal anyway. Oh well. Next turn, this is going to be huge. As long as he doesn't remove my last ping here. All 
pilgrims face the dark. It is but a test of conviction. Bag. Pay. It's got one card. What's he thinking about? Let me put out a skeleton heavy instead. This will heal. I can also heal and tempted to do that, but this will be a two two. I want to trade off one of these. So that way I have room for this guy. That's enough for now. Everyone except my face healed for one. It's already at full health. That's a nice max use of uh, Golden Harp right there. Alright, so what's he gonna get back? He's got a couple options. Gets a Switch Duelist back. Now, I don't know if he's got cards that can sleep things, but I've got an Ironclad. Hmm. I've got an ironclad and an iron tooth. Wouldn't mind getting this. All pilgrims face the dark. It is but a test of conviction. I just messed that up. Uh, I meant to hit face with that. Oops. Oops. Let's go get him. I'm right behind you. Oops. I was gonna kill this with the. Uh... Pay attention. Don't count your chickens. So he's going to shuffle my Demogorgon, presumably, back into my deck. But I've got an Ironclad still, so I mean... Oh, and now I get a Cannonize instead, which kind of is nicer. He has no cards in his hand, so if I just start clearing his board and smacking him around with these big protected creatures... And I would love to give word to my god here, so that he can't pull more crap like that. He didn't take form of power. Hmm. Hey, so form of power would now there? remove my ward. He should almost certainly take form of power. Maybe he hides this. I would hide this. He has no other cards. He could take form of power, ping this to get rid of protect, but he still can't kill it. Gets rid of my ward though, so if he has cutthroat, it's gonna be problematic. 
could let this get really high in health and then Master of Indulgence. Unless he constantly hides it. Which he might. Ooh, Light's Levy is nice. Yeah, let's Light's Levy. If I trade here, and then heal, he still can't kill it. Let's throw this on the board. He can just hide it, but at least it makes him waste some mana if he's got other options. So I got one card. is going to have four health on my turn unless he kills this. He didn't attack with it. Interesting. Time to act. He just wanted to hide it. And now I can put a big old frontliner out. Or MOI this, which would be interesting. I could just trade that off. Hit him in the face for Four. Maybe I use these two to kill this, buff this, hit him in the face. Yeah. Oh, another uh, Ironclad Minotaur. kills this here doesn't matter if I heal it but this was at one he could have pinged it with his god power ultimately it's not going to matter too much it's going to all come down to what he just top decked he's playing off the top of his deck he's going to have to have gotten lucky and uh, maybe a hunting trap but he'd have to get through here first to break the yeah he's got a, he's got a long way to go here and of course he top decked the perfect card that I should have actually ended up uh, healing that one instead. He could still ping though. He might ping, try and get rid of the protect. But he I mean he can't he can't deal with this this turn no matter what. I can throw up a frontliner here, hit him in the face for eight. The next turn he's dead. We can't heal a creature, but that's enough for now. I should do it. He needs to kill Their plan can't be a lot of stuff obvious. here. You got protect, protect, ward, frontline, and eight nine. You crack. That's it. He's uh, he's dead. Nothing he can do. He can gain three more favor. He can, he can get a frontliner. Frontliner almost enough. Now he can't. He should have gotten the frontliner. Frontliner would have saved his life for one turn. Oh, he could still bag. Okay, he's still got a, a pip. Hmm. Maybe I top deck a Vanguard. Nope. Okay. Well, I mean, this is still. Pretty much gonna do it here. Honesty is so dull.
What's he got? Probably not enough. Demogorgon slows it down for a turn, but uh, I think he would have instant played Demogorgon. So yeah, light, extremely OP right now. There was a balance patch last week, and they did nerf D to D. Thank God. Um, mm. They nerfed regen nature. Thank God. That Bartley's though, uh, that card is just busted. Cool rope. He took that long to decide to play his only card. Tough <laughs> choices. My turn. Let's heal up to thirty and hit him in the face. Uh, GG's. So yeah, that's going to do it for this week. Make sure you check out my Twitch here where you can see all the insane action from Friday's Welcome Set Finals. It was unbelievably amazing. Uh, we had Dan the Dev and Immutable Meals stop onto the stream for about 30 minutes and chat and hang out and force Dan the Dev to sing a song. So go check that out. And until next week, I'll see you guys next time.